We are filing the Eureka Fair Wage Act, and I'd like to make a statement about that. Um, this is a good day for workers, for working class people. Most of the people in this area, in this country, on this earth, are working class people. 62% of minimum wage workers are women. It's been a good couple of days for working class people in the U.S. Yesterday, July 24th, was the National Day of Action to raise the federal minimum wage, which has not changed for four years. Despite inflated costs, cuts in welfare and health care, and profitable years for big business. So yesterday, a National Day of Action to raise the measly federal minimum wage, and today, July 25, 2012, here in Eureka, where Walmart, the most abusive and criminal retail outfit in the world, who colluded with the Eureka City Council, snuck in against the will of the people, set up an employment recruitment center, and invaded the city of Eureka. Here in Eureka, today we are filing the Eureka Fair Wage Act. We believe it will be successful getting on the ballot and winning in an election because we will no longer have our labor robbed from us. It is unconscionable that so many people can work 40 or more hours a week and still struggle to pay rent and utilities or medical bills. We know that this filing is a step toward uniting working class people in this area to stand up for ourselves, to insist on our dignity, to build strong forces, to oppose predatory, corporation, predatory corporations like Walmart, Walmart and refuse to labor for the purpose of filling the CEOs and the bosses' pockets and bank accounts while we get next to nothing. $12 an hour, that is what the Eureka Fair Wage Act will require for all businesses with 25 employees or more. Passing the Fair Wage Act will take a lot of organizing and dedication from workers and working class people in this area. We will build strength and come from a place of honesty and reality. And there will be lies coming from those who want people to continue working for next to nothing. Those lies will be historically disproven as fear-mongering, spread using the money from people's labor by greedy companies to try and keep working people from contributing to this effort to pass the Eureka Fair Wage Act. Greedy companies and politicians will tell lies cleverly crafted to convince common people to act against their own interests. The facts are higher wages improve lives and boost the local economy. People making more money for their labor as opposed to the CEOs getting rich from the workers. The, Re the Eureka Fair Wage Act will pass due to the efforts of workers and working class people. Indeed, there is next to nothing that gets done without them. Perfect.